Hey guys, Steph here. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the fact that Louis Vuitton have decided after decades of use to scrap their date code system in designer bags and small luxury goods. I'll touch on what a date code is really briefly, but then we're going to be talking about the new microchips that they're actually going to be putting in designer bags as opposed to date codes. I'll be covering everything you need to know from why Louis Vuitton has decided to do this, who can scan the microchips, what information will be kept on there, can they track you, and what does this mean for the pre-loved market? I asked some of you guys on my Instagram what kind of questions you had around the new Louis Vuitton microchips, so I'm hoping that I can cover most of this for you. Here are a few of the questions, but like I say, most people just said everything. If you ever want to get involved in anything like this in the future, make sure if you don't already, give me a follow on Instagram. My handle is at handbag underscore holly. Now, it is worth noting that Louis Vuitton have had no involvement in this video. So everything that I'm about to go through is based on the research that I have done and also my personal opinion and some interpretation as well. I have pulled together a full blog in more detail on the Handbagholic site if you want to find out more about microchips. I'll pop a link up here to that blog and down below as well. What I will do is if I get any updates or more information, I will update that blog post. So keep checking back and I hope that you find this video useful. What are date codes and why have Louis Vuitton decided to switch to microchips? So I'll just touch really briefly. A date code is stamped generally into a Louis Vuitton Vuitton bag, it consists of two letters and four numbers. The letters tell you which or where your bag was made, which country it was made in, and the four numbers tell you which week and year, which can be good if you are trying to authenticate a bag, because for example, on limited edition prints and certain leathers and canvas types, which authenticators uh, use, they can check that they are consistent with the date code inside of the bag. Now they aren't unique, which means that they can very easily be faked. You should never authenticate a bag just on the date code. Um, anyone can interpret and, and find a date code for a bag. I'm just gonna show you one here in my giant monogram speedy bag. So you can see the date code is embossed there into the leather. And Louis Vuitton now won't be featuring date codes in bags as of the end of March 2021. What you will have instead is a microchip, which you cannot see. It will be hidden within the lining of the bag. If you have a Louis Vuitton bag with a date code, you can use the free date code checker on Handbagholic. I'll pop a link up here and down below as well. You simply type in the code, press submit, and then it will tell you where your bag was made, what week and what year. After decades of use with the date code in their designer goods then, why have Louis Vuitton now decided to move over to a microchip? Now, most of my research is indicating that Louis Vuitton are doing this to try and fight the replica market. Because Louis Vuitton is one of the most recognized brands in the world, uh, thanks to its popularity of the monogram, um, a lot of people, there are a lot of fakes out there. You know, you can go to markets in certain countries and they have so many fakes. And this is obviously a huge problem for Louis Vuitton. Um, people can see, maybe they can't tell the difference between the real and the fake, and they just think, well, the real one is a lot more expensive than a fake version, and they'll go for that. Again, I recommend against that, but it will always happen, unfortunately. So fighting fakes is the main reason Louis Vuitton have decided to make this move, but it does have some impact on the pre-loved market. Now, I love buying Louis Vuitton bags pre-loved for the saving, but also to pick up unicorns that no longer are available, but I'll come on to that further in the video. So who exactly can scan the microchips in Louis Vuitton bags? Can you download an app to your phone and do it yourself? The simple answer to that is no, you can't do it yourself. The only people that can scan the new microchips are Louis Vuitton sales associates in store. And I have really mixed feelings about the fact that us mere mortals cannot scan these microchips. I really enjoy buying pre-loved bags, uh, rare finds that you can no longer buy from the brand. Um, they're very much often sold out as well, even like newer styles of Louis Vuitton bags. So when I'm purchasing pre-loved, I always check the date code to make sure it's consistent with the stamp in the bag. Authenticators will look at it. Like I've suggested, a date code is not the only way to authenticate the bag. You should never 
just go on the date code, but it leaves us with one less thing that we're able to identify replicas with as pre-loved luxury lovers. But it's okay because you can take your pre-loved Louis Vuitton into the Louis Vuitton store for an essay to scan it, right? Wrong. Louis Vuitton sales associates will not scan the microchip. They are saying they will only scan the chip if you basically take a Louis Vuitton bag in and you want the leather replacing, for example, just so they can verify uh, who purchased the bag and that it is in fact authentic which again adds to the blow um, to anyone who likes to buy pre-loved. You can't take your item in and ask them to authenticate it. The reason for this, if you think about it, is that a sales associate, all Louis Vuitton care about is selling more luxury goods. Uh, their sales associates are probably already very busy with whoever is in the store. Uh, maybe if you have a great relationship with an essay, they might agree to scan something for you. Um, but overall, like you cannot walk into a store and ask for them to scan it and authenticate a bag. They will not do it. They have never done it and they're not about to start now. What information will be stored on the microchip? So I don't know for definite. However, there is a screenshot which was made available on Foxy LV's Instagram. I really like her stuff. Give her a follow if you love Louis Vuitton. Um, and basically it looks like the style code of the bag, uh, the name and style of the bag, um, where it was made, which factory, uh, the date will also be on there. Now there might also be additional information that we can't see on this screenshot, which is very likely to be stored on the microchip, such as when the bag was sold, the sales associate, the store it was sold in, or the website, and who purchased the bag. So this leads me on to my next question, which you guys asked, what does this mean for resellers? There are varying degrees of what a reseller is, um, but a hardcore reseller will buy a bag from Louis Vuitton and then basically sell it straight away with no intention to use it for themselves. Everyone has different opinions on what they think to resellers. Um, I'm not going to get into that exactly, but does this mean that Louis Vuitton are trying to crack down on resellers by keeping the information on the microchip? We don't know for sure that this information is on the microchip, but I think it's highly likely. Now, I don't think Louis Vuitton have put this microchip in just to crack down on resellers, however, I do know that they are limiting stock more and more. You can only order so many Louis Vuitton bags in a period of time. And uh, people reselling the bags is something that frustrates the brand quite a lot. They would obviously rather sell it to people that love the brand and want the actual item for their personal use. So if the information of the reseller, if a bag goes into the store and is then scanned, um, for whatever reason, and it keeps flagging up that the person in the store who has the bag is not the person who purchased it, they could flag something on a system. Um, I've no doubt that they probably will do something like this, and then they could ultimately put a kind of mark next to the reseller to stop them purchasing anything else. Louis Vuitton already do this anyway. Uh, prior to microchips, if they think you're a reseller, they will blacklist you and they will not sell to you anymore. But what does this mean for someone who's purchased the bag, used it, and then sells it on eBay one day? Because one of the main things when it comes to buying luxury is the resale value of the bag. That is why I buy designer bags. If I bought a bag and knew that it would go to zero tomorrow and I would never be able to sell it again, I absolutely would not purchase it in the first place. So it is important that a bag has a resale value because maybe you've had a bag for a while, you don't use it as much as you thought, or you've just had it for so, so long and it's not getting the use and you want to you know, give it to a new home. Um, will Louis Vuitton flag this? Unless that bag goes into store, um, it won't be flagged by the microchip. And I really think Louis Vuitton, if they do anything with this, they'll be targeting the resellers that are selling the new and limited edition bags. I don't think they will be flagging anything up that's maybe you know a couple of years old, five, 10 years old, and someone has sold it on because that is an obvious thing to do. It's worth bearing in mind, but I definitely don't think it should put you off selling any of your Louis Vuitton bags if you decide to do so. Can the microchips in the new bags track you? This is a really important question, okay? Being in 2021, it is important now more than ever to protect your data. Uh, no company needs to know where you physically are and where you take your bag. So that's quite a scary prospect that um, a microchip could track you. 
answer to this question is I don't know, unfortunately. There are types of technology out there and retailers do do this to manage their stock levels in big warehouses to manage stock loss. Um, to be able to track items via RFID. I'm not exactly sure what technology Louis Vuitton are using. So unfortunately, I can't answer this specifically. My inkling is that Louis Vuitton won't be tracking you. Um, I believe they would have to follow so many laws in order to be able to do that, but I could be wrong. And like I said, I will keep the blog updated on the Handbagholic site, which I've linked here or down below. Um, which you can check out and if I do find any more information out about this I will definitely be talking about it on the blog and also my Instagram. Will Louis Vuitton bags without date codes be worth as much as the bags that do have date codes? This is an interesting question because I know some people buy bags, certain Louis Vuitton bags, because of the date code they will pick a week and a year that a bag was made, which maybe correlates with a big birthday, a birth, a special occasion. And some people, when they see a bag, if they see that the date code matches um, their birth week and year, for example, they might decide to purchase it. And it just makes them maybe a little bit more special in terms of you know when they were actually made. So do I think bags with microchips in are going to be worth less than ones with date codes? My honest opinion is, of course, the Louis Vuitton bag with a microchip is going to be worth what it's worth. Um, it's a Louis Vuitton bag after all. However, I can see pre-love lovers opting for Louis Vuitton bags that do have date codes in them. Um, basically because we can't scan the microchips. So if there's an option between a microchipped bag and a date code bag, obviously the date code is going to be older than the microchip. But if they're in the same condition, I would be tempted, more tempted to go for the one with the date code. However, I don't think it's going to drastically reduce the value of a bag, but I do think if you've been on the fence about maybe selling a Louis Vuitton bag, you're not too sure, and it's got a date code, keep it for now, um, because you might not be able to get another one with a date code in. Which leads us on nicely to the next question, and there's a lot of frustration around this. Why have Louis Vuitton scrapped the date code when they could keep the date code and put the microchip in the bag. Then that way the customer can still see the date that their bag was made, but Louis Vuitton also has the option to scan the chip if it's taken into a store. Uh, a lot of Louis Vuitton lovers are really frustrated about this. I know some authenticators are as well. Authenticators are, if you don't know already, um, I'll pop a link down below or up here for you to the best authenticators. Whenever you're buying pre-loved, you should always get it checked by someone who knows these bags inside out and they can tell you uh, roughly whether they think it's real or fake. And I always get any of my pre-loved bags authenticated. So it's obviously frustrating for those guys because now they've got one less thing to look at. And Louis Vuitton could still put the date code in the bag. It's not really going to make that much difference. I don't know why Louis Vuitton have decided to do this. It would possibly indicate that they are trying to discourage the pre-loved market. They basically want you to walk into a store and buy a new Louis Vuitton bag because you can guarantee it's real from a Louis Vuitton store. Um, but this definitely sucks being a pre-loved um, lover because there is so many amazing bags out there and I'm definitely all for a more circular economy. We shouldn't just buy things and then throw them out. We should definitely, you know, find them new homes and stop consuming new all the time. So yeah, it's very frustrating and I really hope that Louis Vuitton change their mind on this and start to include date codes as well as the microchips, but for now, it's just microchips. Can the microchips in Louis Vuitton bags be counterfeited? This is a really important question because if you go somewhere and want to purchase a Louis Vuitton bag, that is not the Louis Vuitton store. And they claim that it has a microchip in it and show you um, them scanning the microchip and the details coming up. It is most likely, in fact, it's a fake. Um, unless they're a sale, Louis Vuitton sales associate, you know it's a fake. Um, these chips can be faked they're quite easy to fake. Um, but this is probably one of the reasons Louis Vuitton isn't distributing the app to everyone. Only they can use it. Um, so only they've got access to that technology to be able to read their particular chips. Um, but yeah, if you go anywhere and you see someone scan a bag and they're like, look, it's real, the Louis Vuitton bags have got microchips in now, uh, be very, very wary. Um, 
there's a 99.9% .9 chance that that bag is a fake and never trust anyone scanning a microchip that is not working at Louis Vuitton. What do microchips mean for the pre-loved market of Louis Vuitton bags then? So like I've suggested in this video quite a few times, I have purchased most of my Louis Vuitton bags pre-loved. It won't affect the pre-loved market too much. However, without the date code, it gives authenticators one less way and you to authenticate the bag that you have just been sent. Um, this means that authenticators are going to have to work extra hard to be checking things like the hardware, the engraving on the bags, the leather grains, uh, the print. There are so many things to go on. And like I've suggested, a date code should never be used just as a way to authenticate a bag. I think what microchips mean for the pre-loved market is it's going to make it slightly harder to authenticate a bag, slightly more frustrating, um, but I do still think the pre-loved market will always live on because as long as people love Louis Vuitton bags, you know, there will always be a market for selling your designer bag one day when you no longer want to use it. Let me know what you think to the microchip situation in the comments down below. My final thoughts are that I completely understand that Louis Vuitton want to try and tackle the replica market. It is a huge problem. Um, there are so many fakes out there. Um, it's really, really bad. Um, and I think they have every right to try and protect their brand and try to reduce the replica market as much as they can. Um, but in terms of as an individual who buys uh, Louis Vuitton pre-loved quite a lot, I think that this is a huge blow, to be honest. Um, the fact that date codes won't be in bags anymore is super frustrating for a lot of people. And personally, I have started to buy a couple of bags um, that are pre-loved that still have date codes in. And it probably will be my preference going forward, although some styles will never have been available soon uh, with a date code in. You know, they will only have been made with a microchip. So. It won't put me off pre-loved, but it definitely will be more of a concern. And like I've suggested, I would love for Louis Vuitton to put them back in as well as the microchips. They probably aren't going to do that. They're probably just going to leave it as the microchips, which is super frustrating. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it informative, but make sure you don't go anywhere, however, because I'll be linking my latest video release here for you and down below as well. Have a wonderful day wherever you are.